On this Monday, thank you for watching. I'm David Carroll. And I'm Cindy Sexton. Do not, do not let them, Estrada, don't release the dog. Do Stay not safe. release the dog with his hands up. Do not release the dog with his hands up. Do not release the dog with his hands up. Do not, do not, do not. Do not. Do not. An Ohio Police Department is under scrutiny after body camera video shows a canine officer unleashing a dog on an unarmed black man. Now, police say the man, Jadarius Rose, led them on a 30-minute chase, but even though he appeared to surrender, the canine officer unleashed the dog on him anyway. Now, this incident raises questions about the proper procedures and protocols involving canine officers. Dallas Payton tells us what goes into that decision. Jamie Heath with the College Dale Police Department says when a canine is told to attack, it's considered another use of force, like when an officer uses a taser or draws their gun. You've got canines that are narcotic search dogs. You've got uh, canines that are search and rescue. You've got canines that are uh, a, a bite dog, which, you know, if a fugitive is running, uh, they, you know, that they are the ones that apprehend that fugitive. Jamie Heath is the assistant chief of police for the College Dale Police Department. He says when a canine is released, an officer or deputy have exhausted all other options. As if you don't want the canine released, then do what the, the officer tells you to do. That's that's basically the long and short of it. If if you if you stop and you surrender yourself and you follow the commands that are given, then there won't be an issue. The the canines are released when the commands are not obeyed. Heath says a canine is trained to only follow the commands its handler is giving it. There are different commands that are given as far as a length of time. There is not a length of time, but just like with any uh, use of force, it's with the minimum amount necessary to bring the situation under control. Same thing with the canine. Training is done on a consistent basis to sharpen the dog's skills. The canines are required a certain amount of training each month. Uh, they are also required to have a uh, certification, a national certification. There's different types of canine uh, programs that they can get those certifications through, but it's just another layer of protection, another layer of training, so we can make sure that we are providing a top-notch product. For Local 3 News, I'm Dallas Payton.